Hi, welcome to the Me and My Base series. In this series, I will bore you with some interesting facts about some of the bases or base related stuff I own. I will tell you how it is purchased them and why further I will tell you my humble opinion about their playability and their sound. This time's up, we are going in depth with the Bogart Blackstone from 1993. This base I already reviewed on this channel. You can check that video somewhere up here. Uh, but where I ran through the specs real quick, then I like to take a moment and do a more in-depth look at this base. This base is made in Germany. It has a carbon fiber neck uh, phenolic fingerboard. It's a normal long scale base. It has a blackstone body, uh, two Bartolini pickups, um, a Glocken Klang uh, preamp. It's semi headless because it has a headstock with gearless tuners. When I asked Stefan Hess, that's the guy behind Bogart bases, from uh, when this base was, um, I sent him a, a few pictures of when I bought this base, he responded, This base is made in 1993 and is one of the second generation. We were using the Mac electronic compartment instead of the uh, jazz base like control plate, which was mounted on top of the body. Uh, Bogart is still going strong with their unique body approach. Uh, it now looks like they are made out of wood uh, and this one certainly not. But don't be fooled. The new ones are still made of the same material. As they stated on the website, uh, the body of the Bogart consists of various composite materials. From the inside to the outside, these are body core made of spruce, wood, whatever that may be. The core is surrounded by a special integral, integral, integral foam <laughs> that has excellent resonance properties. The outer shell of the body consists of glass fiber reinforced gel coat which is extremely robust and impact resistant. Uh, you can catch a rocket with it if you want. <laughs> with the Bogart Classic, a fine wood veneer top is laminated onto the body. There you go. Okay, here is a more in-depth example how it sounds. Uh, I tried to make three sort of different styles of music to see if this bass is an all-rounder or not.
The signal flow in this clip was as usual the bass direct into my UID Apollo Twin which had an MPEG SVT simulation running on it. I used the ROCK A preset. I'm still happy with this bass. It's uh, quite a unique one because there is a headstock but actually it's a headless bass which I love of course. Further sports this bass an incredible wide neck. Uh, you could convert this one uh, in a five string without any trouble. There's enough room. Well, that's it for this episode. If you like this kind of content, please like and subscribe. And I hope to see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. See you. Bye bye.